Hi guys and welcome to video number 107. This video is on ratio and it's simplifying ratio is what we're doing in this one. Lots of ratio things that we're going to do. This first one is uh, simplifying the ratio. Uh, so simplifying is when you make uh, the numbers smaller. Uh, a ratio is something that you can uh, use to split things up. So you'll have one, one number on one side, one number on the other. Those are the parts of the ratio. We call them the parts of the ratio. If you add the parts together, you get the total number of things that it's all out of, okay? Um, most of the time. the Like I said, the parts are what the two numbers are either side of the dot dot uh, symbol. And I've got in, in the big white star up here that dot dot means two, okay? That reads as the word two. So in the next bit of the keywords, I've got one to n, one dot dot n is one to n, okay? Or n to one. Right, that just means that you're working out what one thing is compared to a certain number of other things, okay? Or a certain number of other things compared to one thing, right? So you're either working on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of your ratio. So it's a tricky topic to kind of understand to begin with, but I think that kind of covers everything that you need to know um, before we get into the, the doing stuff to the ratios things. So to simplify a ratio, you must know your times tables. Okay, very useful to know your times tables. Just like with simplifying fractions, you must find a times table that both parts of the ratio are in. All right, divide both numbers until you can't go any further. Um, to write a ratio in the form of one to n, so it's different, slightly different thing, you just must divide both parts of the ratio by the number that's on the left-hand side. If you, want to, if you want to write it in the form of n to one, divide both the numbers by the number that's on the right-hand side. Okay, um, and I'll show you those through examples as well. So it's a, it's a relatively simple thing to do. If you're good at simplifying fractions, you'll be good at simplifying ratios. It's the same skill, same mathematical skill, just dividing. So the first question, we've got to simplify these ratios, 12 to four, okay? And I'll write that out in the middle there, 12 dot dot four. Okay, well, what times table are both of those numbers in? They're both in the four times table. That's the biggest number that you can fit into both of these, okay? So I'm gonna divide by four. I'll just show you what I'm doing for this first one. Just writing divide by four and divide by four. And then we get three and we get one. Okay, so that's our first question there. We simplified that ratio down to three parts to one part. Okay, um, it's a useful thing to do when we've got um, contextual questions uh, and we don't want to deal with big numbers. All right, so we're simplifying things to make the number smaller. 32 to 18, let's just think about a number that fits into both of those will straight away my mind thinks well two is going to fit into both of those so let's divide both by two and see if we can do anything else after that so 16 and 9 all right now is there a times table that both of those are in there is not a times table that both of those numbers are in so we are that is as far as we can go 16 to 9 uh, get rid of that and we'll do the last one now this last one's a little bit trickier um, because we've got to do a little bit of conversion now this is just an, one example of one where we've got to do some converting Four weeks to six days, these are different units, okay? These didn't have any units. These have got different units, weeks and days. Let's convert uh, the weeks into days, okay? So four weeks is, uh, well, we know that there's seven days, or we should know that there are seven days in one week. So in four weeks, there will be uh, 28 days. So we've got 28 to six. We don't have to worry about the units then, okay? Um, and then we just simplify that one. So we can divide both of those numbers by two, which would give us 14 and three. And again, there is no way we can simplify that any further. So 14 to three is the simplified ratio in that instance, right? These can be tricky, but make sure, uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, that your units are the same. If you're working in maths, you need to make sure your units are the same to do any calculations. All right, don't need to rub that out because that's the last question. All right, question two. Um, states we've got to write the following ratios in the form of 1 to n. Now this is actually even simpler. It's just a way of um, comparing something to 1, all right? Um, if we want it in that form, all we have to do, we don't even need a calculator or, or to do any more complicated division than what I'm going to show you, okay? Let's divide by the number on the left-hand side, okay? Because that's the side that we want to be a 1. So if we write down that side is going to be 1, what do we have to divide by? Well, Five to six, I'll do it here. Five turns into one by dividing by five, 
all right? So all we have to do is divide this side by five. And the nicest way we can write that is six over five, all right? That is literally all you have to do, one to six fifths. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could turn that into one and one fifth, all right? As a mixed number, and there you go. There's another mathematical skill that I've done a video for. You can go back into the number section and watch how to do that if you want. All right, but there's there's an answer there. Or if you know what one fifth is, all right, if you know one fifth is 0 0.2, you could write your answer as 1.2, right? And you could get your, you could do your bust up measure of division to get that as a decimal. But I think that's the easiest way to do it, the first way that I showed you, uh, because you don't have to do any working out. You don't have to think too much and like I've said before it's nice to not be able to think when you're doing a maths question too hard now this one 11 to 90 I'm just gonna do it in exactly the same way let's divide by 11 that's gonna get us 1 let's divide by 11 90 over 11 All right so 1 to 90 elevenths again you could do something to that fraction if you wanted to but we don't have to All right and then the last one that I've got in this question 2 section 13 to 45 in the form of n to 1. So 13 to 45. Now this side, the right hand side, is the side that we want to be 1. So we're going to divide by 45. And we're just going to then put the 13 over 45 on that side. And that's it. It is that simple. All right? We don't have to make it any more complicated than that. Which is nice. All right, let's move myself over, have a look at the third and final question on this one. So Loza is 33, Mazza is 66, Noz is 11. They are going to share some marbles in the ratio of their ages. Write the ratio of their ages in its simplest form. So it's a worded one. It confuses a lot of people a lot of times, uh, the wordy ones. But let's pick out the key numbers. We've got 33, 66, and 11. I'm just going to put the, the letters of their names, or the first letters of their names, L, M, and N, um, at the top there. I'm going to put their numbers underneath, so 33 to 66 to 11 all right and they're going to share their marbles in the ratio of their ages that's why i've written their ages there like that and then all we've got to do is simplify those now we can see that each one of those should or you should be able to see each one of those divides by 11. so we divide by 11 we get three we get six and we get one and that is the final answer to that question okay um i don't think that's too challenging um if you read the words carefully enough you should be able to get those sorts of questions correct um yeah just pay attention to what the question's asking you and you should be absolutely fine please uh do click the link in the description and practice this skill it's a very very useful skill for later on down the line it comes in very handy uh like the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel uh if you so desire and you'll be able to use all my stuff to improve your mathematical ability moving forwards thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves and i'll see you in another one